Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to share a quick tip on a very easy and seamless way to share uh, the presentation of a PowerPoint slide deck um, using the native PowerPoint sharing in Microsoft Teams meetings and how you could have two remote presenters in different locations sharing control of that slide deck so that either one could advance the slides uh, as they see fit. So if you're passing the ball back and forth during your presentation, you can actually pass that control back and forth as well. So um, to set this up, I've got three people in a meeting and um, we're gonna set it up in a way that the two presenters are clearly identified and they'll be able to share the PowerPoint while the attendee that's in here won't be able to share control or take control over. So what we wanna do first is the organizer right here, my account is the organizer of this meeting. I'm gonna go into the meeting options and we're gonna fix the presenters, who can present. So I'm gonna click the who can present area. I'm gonna say specific people. And of course I'm gonna be a presenter because I'm the organizer, but I also want Megan from another organization. I want her to be my co-presenter. So I'm gonna click on that and hit save. And now my admin account, which is now an attendee, got bumped down to an attendee. You can do this before the meeting or you can do it during the meeting. But if we click on the participants now, we have two presenters and we have an attendee who's just watching the presentation. So back over here to Megan, she's going to share a slide deck and then I'm gonna control that slide deck along with her during the course of the presentation. To do that, she's gonna click the share tray right here. That button, once you click it, the tray comes up and she can share her desktop or a window. There's actually a new feature coming where you're gonna get the uh, PowerPoint presenter view as the, the presenter. So you'll have the next slide, the timers, your slide notes, things like that. So I wanna get more used to doing the PowerPoint file sharing option that's available. And you'll see here that she has no files available because this is a new environment. She hasn't opened up that file yet but your most recent PowerPoint slide decks that you've interacted with, they will show up here for you. She's instead gonna click browse and she can click the OneDrive button and it will browse her OneDrive on the web, all of her files that she has in OneDrive. She could open up any of these slide decks right here. She has added a shortcut to a team location in her OneDrive, Contoso Electronics, so that's available to her. She wants to share this slide deck, this sales presentation, She's gonna select that and hit share. So now, on everybody's screen, we're seeing the, uh, the presentation come up. She sees her presentation, she can go forward and backward using the arrows. My account, the co-presenter, I can see the presentation. And then the attendee, they can see the presentation as well. You'll notice here that the attendee also has arrow buttons right here. So I can go back, I can go forward, and I can do what's called private browsing of this particular slide deck. I can click the button to go back to the presenter view. Where's the presenter at in this slide deck? And as the presenter, Megan right here, she has the arrows, but she also has this little eyeball icon. If she clicks on this, then the other people in the meeting will not be able to navigate privately. So if I click that so that it gets a strike through, now, I know how many slides there are, but I cannot click the arrows as an attendee. So we're going through and we're um, presenting this slide. Say that she's on slide three, she's advanced to that. Everybody sees the animation over on their screen. And it's time for John to start talking. She, Megan is gonna hand this off to John. John, the other presenter right here, he has the arrow keys so he can go back and forth but he also can take control of it because he has the presenter role as well. So if I click take control, I can say, well, thank you, Megan. Now we're gonna talk about the performance of Contoso. And I am now in control of moving that slide forward. I can now you know, go to slide four, go to slide five, it animates. What Megan got on her screen was she got a banner that says another person has took control. So the other presenter is now in control of the session. We get over here to slide five and now Megan is gonna talk about the strengths of Contoso. So she would say, 
take control. Well, thanks a lot, John. We're now we're going to talk about why Contoso. We're going to talk about the strengths of Contoso as a commitment to innovation. She's clicked that button, and now she's in control and can advance the slides forward, go through the bullets, and things like that. So that's just an easy way that as two presenters, you can have the nicest version of your slides up because they render locally. If you open up the file rather than sharing your screen, the file itself will render on everybody's instance of Teams. And then as a presenter, you can just click that take control button back and forth to decide who is advancing the slides at a particular point in time. So I hope that helps out and makes uh, your remote presentations in front of uh, customers and clients a little bit more seamless and uh, natural as if you were standing next to each other on a stage. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.